Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Tamil Movie Studio. Today we'll show you pants I finished recently. Uh, I will post this uh, video probably mid-July. So most of those pants are finished in June or beginning of July. And some of them are very special. Some of, two or three of them were finished probably a little bit sooner but I will show all of them and most of them are still available uh, to buy. Uh, just visit my Instagram and talk to me and ask about any of the, those pens and uh, I will answer. Or just make a pen for you. Okay, here they are. Quite a lot of them and several more are in the works and I will start with experiments, total experiments. So there are two of them here and uh, first one is, I think you can guess what pen is that. Yes, it's a Noodler's Ahab. It's a humble Ahab, in, it was red transparent and it smelled horribly and I didn't like this pen at all. Uh, I was not using it, it was in the drawer, but one day I decided to do something with it. I wanted to give it to someone, but I, well, I said, why not lacquer it first? So I took it and I lacquered it with a Kava Inori technique, uh, called also a Tsugaru Nuri technique, but Tsugaru Nuri is very local. So Tsugaru is a region in Japan where some kinds of Kavari Nuri techniques were developed, so it's best not to call pens not made by artists uh, from other areas or, of Japan or uh, that, are, that studied in some other uh, areas of Japan or outside of Japan, not to call Tsugaru, but it's, well, it's exactly the same. It's my uh, my own technique with stripes. I have never seen any pen like this uh, or this technique used on any pen. So I developed based on Kavarinuri idea, the Kavarinuri methodology and uh, the Tsugarunuri techniques, my own approach to lacquering the pen. Uh, it's not very Japanese in uh, structure, but I like it very much. I call it flames. Mm, I did this on several different pens and that's the only one which stays with me right now. All others are gone. Another example of uh, Tsugaru Nuri or Kavari Nuri, if you want, is this pen. It's also a prototype. It was an experiment because it's on a metal base. Uh, it's metal pen with metal threads and to cover it with Urushi, I had to bake first layers um, in a 150 degrees Celsius for half an, uh, for an hour and hour and a half to make it fuse with um, with base with base pan, and it is aluminium pan with steel section and quite a lot of layers too, and gold and silver and some other metals and several different colors of Urushi to achieve this effect. Uh, those were two experiments and now let's move on to more uh, usual stuff I do. This pen is made quite a long time ago, it was not made in June, mm, it was made earlier like in March or April, uh, gold tamenuri gold Akata Menuri. So it's an Akata Menuri with gold flakes and you can see red color in areas where the Urushi is thinner and gold flakes all over the pen. So typical Akata Menuri with lacquered clip and with bock nip. I showed this pen before. Then the pen I was the most excited to make and I was really and I am still really proud of is a Nanakonuri. Nanakonuri, I showed some of the process of making Nanakonuri on one of the videos. It's made uh, using grapeseed and this one is also with a Raden pieces. I'm not sure if you can see this well but those small circles on the surface of the pan 
are still there. So, contrary to Japanese uh, approach, I used exactly the same color of Urushi for base layer and for top layer. And they usually use contrasting layers. And, but in between those two layers, I applied two layers of silver and Nashi Urushi just to get those circles uh, blue, which means the mixture of gold and silver, because silver gets a little bit more in the direction of gold, so a little bit yellower with the use of Nashi Urushi, and a lot of those small pieces of radon scattered around the pen. I'm very proud of this pen, it's based on, uh, on uh, Modest from, uh, from Wet and Twice, and I love it. Uh, here, it is. here it is with a music nib, and this pen is called Music Nib 14K, and this pen is available, but I have to warn you, it's quite expensive, but contact me to discuss if you like it. And next pen uh, is also a pen I finished a little bit uh, earlier, it was in May probably, and it's Negoro Nuri. Negoro Nuri is very old Japanese, maybe not technique, but the way the lacquer ages. Uh, when you have lacquer uh, in black base layer covered with red overlayer and it's used regularly, the red layer becomes thinner and thinner and at the sign, at the certain time it shows through the black layer uh, below it. Uh, you can uh, recreate this effect, this Negoro effect uh, on purpose and that's what happened on this pen and I think I did it quite interesting because I used several different colors of red lacquer for the final layers and it's quite an interesting pen. Also with Bok nib, as far as now, with Jovo nib, Jovo nib, and uh, it's also available. Next one is Seirei Nuri. So it's a technique when you mix Urushi with uh, alcohol and turpentine and put it on the surface of the water and then dip the pen in this web of uh, fresh urushi on the surface of the water. It's something like silk printing or water printing, I don't know how, how exactly this technique is called, but it gives incredible effects. You can go for like a design of uh, on the wings of uh, dragonfly, but in this case it's more like something uh, animal fur or something like that. This one is in with Pognip and it's based on Sake model from Wet and Twice and it's a huge pen. I will show you next pen for comparison and it's Mont Blanc 149. Look at this pen. It's much bigger. 149 has around 149 millimeters and this one is almost two centimeters longer. It's 17 centimeters long. It's a huge pen, but very light and not very thick. So it's very, very um, comfortable to write with. So as I showed you this Mont Blanc, I will stop with it. It's a 149. As you can see, I covered the small rings here at the cup. It's all covered with silver and then lacquered with several layers of uh, lacquer and to achieve the old gold effect or uh, well old gold is the best name I'd say and in this case it's also with a I don't know if you can see this with Maki A so the star or the snow cup, not the star, but the snow cup is made with a Makia technique uh, with silver powder and Urushi. Uh, I, it was a very difficult project for me. It was the first uh, Mont Blanc I have ever lacquered and it goes back to Italy. Uh, I hope 
soon. Another pen which goes back to Italy is a Leonardo Vicina Italiana, a limited edition Tainan Pen Show 2019. And it's an ebonite pen with a sterling silver band. And in this case, I decided to go for Hakem and Nuri, quite complicated one, and a little bit chaotic uh, on purpose, and with a Raden, uh, Raden on the knob of the piston. It's a piston filler with gold nib and it's not a captured converter or something like that. It's a true real piston filler and it is much made much sooner than uh, this year's edition of uh, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande. And I like this pen very much. I have two of them and this one is going back to Italy once again. It is made in collaboration with Tom Westerich from Pen Bordeaux and it was very nice of him to uh, provide two pens for lacquer work for me. This one goes back to him. And one more pen with Hakem and Uri. And this, uh, this, this one is quite unusual because the mixture of color is not very Japanese. And I just finished this pen. It was like two weeks ago when I, or a week ago when I finished it. And I like it very much. It's based on Ranga model four uh, with uh, the section more like a Nakaya one and lacquered threads, of course. And there is like some purple, some gray, some pink, uh, even red on this pen. So many different colors. And the strokes of the brush are very visible and it's very complicated design and you can just watch those lines on the pen for a long time and to discover always something new. Each pen made with this technique is completely different than any other one. And the last pen I have today for you is a fantasy on Tsugaru Nuri. Uh, I decided to go for something like a Moro, but like a military, uh, military design, but uh, in completely different colors. It uh, you can see anything from deep layers here, which were um, blue and gray and silvery gray, through uh, orange, yellow, red, uh, to very deep, dark red colors on this pen. So it's a crazy pen and it's not for everyone, but I hope it will find its leather and uh, someone will have uh, it in his or hers collection. That's it for today. Uh, all the pens I showed, most of the pens I showed were finished recently. They are ready to ship and Two of them are just prototypes. I will just probably uh, put them online uh, with heavily discounted prices because I'm not, uh, I'm not perfectly happy with this one uh, because it's metal and it was my first, uh, first experience with metal. So it might, uh, the urushi near the edges might wear off quite quickly. And the other one is, well, it's just a Noodler's Ahab. So uh, it's now the most posh uh, Noodler's Ahab in the world uh, with Urushi, but still it's Noodler's Ahab. So basic pen, I changed the nib in it to a uh, Yovo nib. So it's a very solid and proper writer with ebonite fit. You can have a lot of fun with it and it will be probably quite cheap. Uh, and that's it for today. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel not to miss any of my future creations. See you soon. Bye.